Hi, this is Sean Chua from SimpleChemConcepts.com. Today we're going to discuss a very interesting question that I set for this book, Pass with Distinction Chemistry by Shingli Publisher. And let's take a look at the question. Now the question goes like this. The electronic configuration of an ion M3 plus is 2.8.8. The number of neutrons in M is given as 21. So the question asks you what is the nucleon number of M? Let's take a look how we should solve this question. First thing, you must understand what they are asking for. Now, nucleon number, you need to know the formula. Nucleon number is given as the number of protons plus the number of neutrons inside the nucleus of an atom. Now, next you need to decipher the information given in the question. They say an ion M3 plus has electronic configuration of 2.8.8. That means the ion will be this, with the electronic configuration of this, 2.8.8. If you work backwards, M will then be the M atom. And when M atom want to form M3 plus ions, what it must do is to give away three valence electrons, all right, in order to form M3 plus ions. So if you work backward and track it back, you realize the electronic configuration will be 2.8.8.3. Alright? And once you know the electronic configuration is 2.8.8.3, it basically tells you that the number of electrons will be 21 in the n atom. Alright? And for an atom, we understand that it's electrically neutral. The number of protons and the number of electrons will be the same. So that tells you it has 21 protons. Now, next you need to find the other information, which is given a question. The number of neutrons in M is 21, which means it's 21 neutrons. So if you go back to the formula, nucleon number equals number of protons, 21, plus number of neutrons, which is 21. That gives you the nucleon number of 42 for M atom. Now, I hope the discussion earlier on is useful to you. Uh, if you'd like to find out more chemistry tips as well as discussion on chemistry questions, I uh, welcome you to subscribe to my blog uh, as well as my channel. And of course, if your friends need help in chemistry, feel free to send them this video so that they can learn together with you. Thank you and take care.